And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. Last time, I decided what my characters are gonna be, and I found out that we're actually really really fucking broke, which is not nice at all. And this little uh, red t-shirt guy is our friend. Bankard Darkefs. Let's call him, why not? You reached the king of good times. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This is Viper. I'm screening my calls. Cut it out because I'm not answering. No answer. So I read that there's like a lot of stuff to do in this game to earn money, to fuck up, or apparently you can die because you don't eat, which is bad because I'm definitely gonna forget to eat. Vagabond Dog. These are the creators. That's funny. I love it when they introduce the creators in the game. Hey. Name's Nigel. Do you work here? Definitely. I'm just I just kind of walked in. I've been looking for the guys that run this place. I heard they've got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into an any building I can. Yeah, sounds normal. They're probably down at the co the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's that game developers love coffee. Not the only ones. Coffee's awesome. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah, I know, right? This is totally me. Best character ever. Okay, hey kitty. Is that cat carrying- oh, I thought it was carrying a tray, but that's just its tail, I think? Hey kitty. A robot- oh, it's a robot cat. Nice. Broken water cooler. What kind of company has a broken water cooler? Low rent indie hipsters? Definitely. I don't- I have no- money. I want to buy some rat piss straight from the source. Mm -mm -mm. Right, I have no money. I can't buy anything, so I'm probably gonna die very soon. Employee of the month. Game's called Codeline Toronto. Looks looks like it's set to free play. Uh, if I can't make any money out of it, I'm not interested. You found Indie Heroes figure 48! Yes! Gods will be watching. I've heard of that game. Oh, there's a safe in here. Uh, this must be the code. Nope, that is not the code. An old post-it note. Justin, the combo to... Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there's, there's a combination. Let me just write that down. I really wish I would invest in some pens these days. Uh, I just gotta write it on my phone, hold on. Maybe it'll lead to something. All right, let's try the code and see if it works. He didn't destroy it though, so that's good. Two, one, seven, seven, one, two, five, one, two, five. That wasn't too far off. One, two, five, four, four. Success. Should I look inside the safe? Are you kidding? Of course you should look inside the safe. A note, note is attached to a small stack of bills. Hey man, 50 bucks is all we have to make the game. Consider it our starting budget. 50 bucks is not enough to start the game. Just fucking, uh, get an investor or something. Hello, money. I'm sure nobody will miss you. Oh god. I broke the game! The game doesn't exist anymore! It's a paradox. It's snowing. Game always sometimes monsters do not, does not exist. Yep, I broke the goddamn game. Go to 10. Reboot failed. Resetting reality. So yeah, we shouldn't take the money. Yeah, we shouldn't take the money because they probably need it more than we do, even though we have no money and barely a few snacks. I better leave this here so we can still keep playing the game. Dubs down. Ooh, a rat. Can I pick it up? Nope, I can't. Uh, this is gonna be very challenging for me because I kind of take my time with these games to explore everything. And, uh, yeah, since this game is kind of like... Mm, it goes by days, I'm afraid that I'm gonna miss a lot of things. Yeah, we should look for food. Why not? In the dumpster. Did you find anything? Anything good? Nope. Getting angry. Pretty angry. This is taking a while. Wow. Search faster. I found something. 
Dumpster scrap. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Sounds amazing. There's a dirty, dirty mackerel. I'm gonna take everything. Fuck it. Hey, man. Hello there, fine lady. Damn straight. Uh. Okay. <laughs> that was an interesting con- Hey, you stole my lunch. No, I didn't. Did I? I did it. I sh totally did. Oh, that was the mackerel. Well, f sorry. I needed more. I guess. What's this building? Na Nation's Bank. Welcome to Nation's Bank. Can I have some money? Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Due to budget cuts, any in-person banking is now limited to check deposits and raising your interest rates. Okay, so you can... Of course I know my pin. Right. So, uh, yeah, we don't need this bank. Who are you? You look a little familiar, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Were you one of them child TV stars or something? Yep, my name was Zen Boo Boo. Woof woof. Hey there, little doggy. Nice doggy. How are you doing, girl? I brought you some food. That's a girl. Oh, that a girl. Come just a bit closer now. Keep dog food. No, I'm gonna- I'm a good person. And animals are awesome. Munch munch. What the- what did he leave behind? Dropped something. The locket the dog was wearing fell off. You picked up the dog's locket. Must be a side quest or something. How do I tell time in this game? Sleep monitor. It only shows me what day it is. That's not very helpful. Dog's locket. Maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe. Maybe someone's looking for the dog. Empire pub. It's a little too early for the bo Ooh, worst bar ever. Grocery store. Ah, I don't have any money. Maybe I should save. Can you, like, die randomly? In this game? Because I have no idea. Do, 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 do. A hole. Hello. There's a gas leak, so I can't let you pass. It should be cleared up in a day or so. Okay, so we can't go that way. That way. What else is there? Hello, man in park, watching uh, that burn. Most of my friends think I'm pretty smart, which is a given. They're not too bright themselves. Ain't that the truth, brother? Bacon barn. That sounds delicious. Life? Don't talk to me about life. Fine. Crawled up your deadly butt. Hey, you there. Me? Are you talking to me, punk? Come over here for a second, would you? Is there something I can help you with? Straight to the point. Right. You look like a savvy investor. Have you heard about sandwich futures before? Can't say that I have. So sand sandwich futures are a way to invest in, well, sandwiches. Sandwiches. Every day the price changes depending on market conditions, homeless shelter, population rates, and other factors. The idea is to buy low and sell high. If you're smart about it, you have the potential to make a pretty penny. That sounds interesting, I guess. Not only are sandwich futures fun to own, but if you do happen to get mugged, the downtrodden lowlifes usually don't think to grab a stack of anything but cash. So I can get mugged? No! They're also a good way to hide cash and stick it to the fat cats at the bank. Thanks for the advice. Right, well I need to head off to my hot yoga class. Hot yoga class. Where is it? Sign me up. You can buy and sell sandwich futures at these handy terminals found at any bacon barn. Barn. Okay, that was interesting. And weird. Welcome to Dubstown Bacon Barn. May I bacon up your day? Sure, can you give me something for free? Because otherwise, no. Do, 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 do. What's this? Sandwich stock exchange. I, I, I can't, I, I would like to invest a hundred. Body scanning system indicates lack of required funds. I know. I don't, I don't own anything. I'm screwed. I need to... Where do I need to go, actually? 
Quite a lot of people. Hottest club in town. I've been lined up all day long. Nice hair. What about you? Ooh. Do you walk around that with that pose? Hey, cutie. You look like a girl with good taste. What do you think about new of my new dress? Cost me a fortune, but I think it's hot. It's, uh, looks looks great, honey. I'm sure you're you're gonna get all the boys to your yard. Definitely worth the money on a body like that. Oh, I like the way you talk. My name's Haley, by the way. So I was looking for someone to do me a favor. I don't see why it couldn't be you. Well, that all depends on what you need. What you need, girl. What you need. You know Dirty Don? Over by the pawn shop? I heard he's got these tabs. Happy pills. I think he calls them and make you feel like you're having the most orgasmic sex. With God. Sounds intense. If I give you 50 bucks, could you go pick up some for me? Well, if it's 50 bucks, it's money. I know it's silly, but I don't want to lose my place in line. Wow, nice person, but she's gonna pay me 50 bucks, so deal. How many pills should I ask for? I should buy- oh, I have to buy them? 10 pills. I might even share with you if we party later. Sounds easy, I'll be right back. One more thing. Don's got some trust issues, you're gonna need this. Sealed envelope. What's that? It's just a little message for me to him. You know, to prove you're cool and not a cop and all that, right? Well, obviously. Keep it sealed until you see him or he'll be suspicious. When you get there, open it and read it out to him. Simple stuff. You have fun waiting in line, gorgeous. Oh god, we're already tra gonna transport drugs. This is not starting out well. Oh, rooming house. How's my stamina, actually? Because I hear that you can die. Empty boxes around town. Anything in here that I can use? Oh, more indie heroes figures. Like it. Someone was having a party and didn't leave any fucking snacks. At least six pizza boxes. Boxes. I could really go for a slice. They didn't leave anything. I can't peek through these uh, keyholes, apparently. Nothing here for me. No business here. Only the hero thing. Okay, he's probably not gonna let me pass. Hello? There's a gas leak. Okay. There's a gas leak on half of the city. Actually, I was thinking to just go to the pawn place first and do that little side quest. And then go to work. Dick Pawns Plus. Take a look around. I don't want to. Sandwich. Yarn ball, guitar, basic fishing. Can I go fishing? Pixelators. Okay. High definator. Allows you to see reality in the most stunning picture quality possible. I really want to buy that, but I really don't have any money of my own. I must have lost at least a hundred by now, but you gotta spend money to make it. What lotto, lotto machine lotto machine are you talking about, dude? That one over there beside the ATM. Let's see if I can break it. Prepare to spend about two hours here. The lotto machine is evil. I lost all my money on it. This is stupid. But I've reloaded, so it's fine. Dubs down. Okay, I have to give him the sealed envelope, I think. Where is it? How do I give it to him? That sounds wrong. Is it you that I have to give the sealed envelope to? A close letter for a dirty dawn. So it's not these guys, maybe it's the guy outside. Are you dirty dawn? Hey, hey, welcome to Dirty Dawn's popcorn stand where I sell fresh popcorn and absolutely nothing else. Yeah, where's the popcorn, man? Know the popcorn trick? You sell anything else? I've got this uh, envelope or something from this girl I'm supposed to be seeing you for. Well, what are you waiting for? Open it, damn it! It says... Well, go on, read it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Yeah, you other brothers can't deny. That when a girl walks in with an itty-bitty waist and a round thing in your face. 
That's enough. You don't have to sing the rest of the song. I know why you're here now. What the hell was that? Oh, all my orders come as hip-hop lyrics. Helps keep the cops from figuring things out. Great plan. That sounds like you need some happy pills. Happy pills? <laughs> happy pills? Can you give me the happy pills? Now what's a girl like you need happy pills for? They're for a friend. I need 50 bucks worth of them pronto. No problem at all. I was just thinking though, how would you like to save 30 bucks? Same number of pills and everything. That math doesn't add up, what's the catch? Oh, nothing shifty or anything like that. They're just local artisan pills. They're made from these eco-friendly toxins. I'm no genius, but I'm pretty sure that toxins aren't all that safe for human consumption. Yes, but I also said eco-friendly. It totally balances things out. Just because you said eco-friendly doesn't make them eco-friendly. Well, I guess that makes sense. So what'll it be, loyal patron? Spend 50 bucks and get what you asked for? Or spend 20 and save the whales? Uh, Give me the good stuff, I'll save the whales. Give me the good stuff because I don't want a dead girl on my hands if they're poison. I'll take the good stuff. I don't know how my friend feels about whales. Well, to each their own, I suppose. Yeah, goodbye, money. Hi, happy pills. I hope the cops don't bust me. Hey, girl, you admiring my ride? It's a pretty sweet truck, if I do say so myself. Maybe we could take it for a spin together sometime. Nope. Whoa. Yo, hit me up later, I gotta go. Why was... why were you getting involved? I might have some more later, so don't be a stranger. I won't. Let's go back to that girl. Hey there, pretty lady. Got a second to invest, invest in a sandwich? I'm trying to focus on a sandwich. Haven't eaten in at least seven days. Ah, oh, but I only have one sandwich and no money. Ah, oh, decisions! I don't like this. No. Go away. Okay, girl, I got your pills. Yeah, I got you the good stuff. You're going to be tripping balls for sure. Whoa, I feel all warm and fuzzy. I just want to touch you all over. Dude, stay away from me. Why don't you take the spare key to my flat? Oh, maybe you could get up to something after the show. It's just across the street, so you can't miss it. I'll think about it. Don't keep me waiting, though. I want to tear into you. Rawr. Haley's key for next door. Can I rob her or something? Is it this one? No business here. Nothing for me. Haley's key. So this is her place. But the deadbolt's on. Is someone in there? Maybe they're sleeping or something? I'll come back later, I guess. Okay, so not yet, but I'm interested to see what's in there. Okay, gotta, gotta get to work. Whoa, lady. We ain't open yet. Excuse me? I said we're closed, woman. Dude. We're expecting a crew. Where's Darkhef? Look, I'm working here today. Is Darkhef around? You're the ditz that everyone's been waiting on, then. Darkhef's in the main room, so I'd get my ass over there if I were you. I'll just stand here and watch you from behind. What an asshole! Fuck. What a fucking jerk. Oh, so this must be Darkef, our very good friend. And the dead rise! You're late, too. Did Benny give you any trouble at the door? No, he let me right through. Some bouncer he is. Have you been? You pumped up for the show? I'm nervous. Really nervous. This is my first big show since I split with Viper, and I don't know how well it's gonna go without her. I know what you mean. Not a day goes by where, where I don't wonder how different my life would be if she hadn't left so suddenly. Jesus, we're on this shit again? Look, Lucy left you, what, a year ago? It's time to move on, don't you think? You're right. It's just not that easy for me. 
I don't know if you've noticed, but life's been kind of shitty for me ever since she left. How long are you going to blame her for everything? Seriously, you've got to take some responsibility. Remember, she left you because of what you did. You know what? Fuck you! Not all of us are happy to be rid of our ex. Not all of us dated self-destructive junkies. Not cool, man. All I'm saying is that since I left Viper, I'm realizing how it's the choices we make that define us. Am I worried about the choices I've made? Totally. Am I terrified that my music's been shit since I quit? Sure. At least I made a choice, man. I think you'll be fine. If I remember correctly, you and Viper, which is the blue-haired girl, were kind of like junkies doing very heavy drugs, and now he's split with her and trying to stay clean. I think you'll be fine, man. Everyone's really proud of you for getting off that stuff. Not everyone, man. Seems like my fans prefer my prefer when my sound's all fucked up. Part of me thinks they're right. They're wrong. That's nonsense. Everyone's just scared of change. Your manager makes a lot a lot of money from you. I'm sure you sound fine. I appreciate it, but you haven't heard me since I kicked the stuff. I'm just nervous at all. That's all. That's all. I kinda wish I had some to calm my nerves. No, you will not do drugs again. Ah well, my burden to bear. Here's the layout for the equipment. Try to follow it exactly, I've got enough to worry about tonight. Since you slept in, we don't have any time to redo anything, so make sure you get it right the first time. Oh shit, what do I have to do? Oh crap. The gears in these boxes here. All you've got to do is put the right stuff on the stage in the right place according to the layout. That shouldn't be too difficult. Seriously, a monkey could do this job and you'd better not mess it up. Okay, a monkey could do this job. No pressure. Get it done perfectly and I'll give you a hundred bucks! Sure, buddy, best friend! I'll do my best, Captain. I'll head backstage and work on the spotlights for you. Okay? What's that in the corner? What's this? Nothing. You picked up the drums. Your hands are already full. The drums were in the back, right? I'll just do this quickly. Oh! I'm busy! Hey, hey, Zen! Come give me a hug! No. Viper? What are you doing here? I thought you and Dark have split. You sure he's too cool with you hanging around here before his show? Trust me, if I know Darkf, he's missing me like crazy right now. He probably already told you, hasn't he? No, he hasn't. Hasn't said a word about you, to be frank. I had to break it to you, but I think you two are splitsville for good this time. I always know when you're lying, Zen. I always... I also know when my baby is super nervous, which is why... I brought him a present. What kind of present? It's a baggie of heroin. God, you're a bad influence on him. Thank God you did. I'm not gonna say that. Are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Dark has been doing so well. What the hell is wrong with you? Hey, I'm not forcing the needle in his arm. Nobody is. He's a big boy and he doesn't need you making his decisions for him. If he's nervous about the show and this helps calm him down, then who are we to get in his way? You are really evil. You'll just get it from somewhere else otherwise. Get out. Get the fuck out. You know what? Get the fuck out of here right now, you goddamn junkie. Dark F left you for a reason. What don't you understand about that? Go fuck yourself. You don't know the first thing about Dark F, what he needs and what he loves. You don't know a fucking thing about love. Good luck with the fucking show. If my baby bombs, it's all your fault. Even if he does bomb, I think he's gonna be a little... better off without the stuff. What a psycho. Totally. Oh, there's the heroin. I should pick it up so Dark F doesn't see it. No sense leaving this lying around. Yeah, he might have, like, just taken it. So back to setting up the equip equip equipment. Just saving a lot. What else is left? Microphone. 
microphone was next to the guitar. Guitar. I hope I'm doing this right. Am I messing this up already? The guitars look the same! Keyboard. Did I get this right? If not, I'll have to redo it, because I need perfection. I'm working up a sweat here. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, I guess. Is this correct? Please tell me it's correct. Well, how'd it go? Take a look for yourself. Damn fine work. Yes! It's so rare that I get to walk on stage with everything just the way I like it. Seriously, kudos to you. Here's the hundred bucks I promised you. Yes! Money! You earned every penny of it. Yay! Thanks, man. I really, really needed it. Anything to help with the show? I can always count on you. Benny said Viper swung by earlier. Did you talk to her at all? Was she looking for me? Uh, yeah, she was looking for you. Yeah, she did stop by. Really? She didn't leave anything here, did she? Actually... No, I'm not, I'm not gonna give him the heroin. She just left. And then left when she saw that you weren't here. Huh? Alright then. Well, I guess I gotta go get ready for the show. Feel free to come back to the club a little later if you're interested in working coat check. We're short-staffed and could use you. Just talk to Benny at the door when you're ready to get started. Hey Zen, you're a good friend. Oh, you're not too bad yourself. I guess that's a day's work. I hope I made the right call with Dark F. I hope so too. He's really been there for me this past year. Okay, so uh, we helped him set up for the show. Phoenix ladies room, out of order. Anything in here? I completely regret my decision to investigate this toilet. Yep. What about here? Throw out the heroin? I don't know if I should throw it out here. Yeah, at least- oh, fuck. I guess it's better I don't keep that junk on me. And a used condom. And heroin! I hope Darkef doesn't find it. I shouldn't have thrown it in here. But it's the ladies' room, so he shouldn't be in here. Technically. First sober show. You can do this. You don't need it. You don't need her or anything. That's true. Don't mind me. What's this? Someone left a crowbar here. Nice. <laughs> Always nice to find weapons. Don't investigate toilets. You doing okay, man? Oh, Zen. Just getting myself psyched for the show. I'm still nervous, but I know I've got this in the bag. I think we're going to blow it out of the water this time. Nothing's holding me back, and I don't care what Viper, my manager, or my fans have to say about it. That's great. I've had a crazy year, and you've been with me through it all. I'm here to do the same for you. Whatever you need to knock it out of the park, just let me know. It's good that we're a supportive friend, even though I threw heroin uh, in a garbage can three meters away from you. Never mind. Now I really want to go and help that old lady that was getting it on in her apartment. But I also want to work, work the coat check to make some more money. I still can't believe Viper showed up like that. Maybe I should stick around for the concert and help with the coat check. Then again, Mrs. Trullwagger did ask for my help. I suppose seeing what she needed would be worthwhile. Even if I am more than a little late- am I already late? So what do I do now? Dubs down. The stupid bouncer won't let us in early. We're gonna have to wait here forever. Whoa, I feel all warm and fuzzy. See, I haven't. I have checked your place out, but I can't get in. So I'm, I'm gonna go back and see if I can help that old lady and then go back to the show. Hey, dude. Landlord. Thank God. I wonder if he changed the lock to my apartment. Which one was mine? I think it was the last one? Ooh, what's this? It's Mr. Raptuvin's dirty old tool bucket. Look, looks like it's full of trash. 
stupid landlord. Think you can just evict me, huh? I still have my key. Nothing like outsmarting a smartass. Open sesame. Yeah, I figured he would change the lock. My key's not working. That son of a bitch changed the lock! Yeah, figured it out. Is everyone still having sex and drugs? Yep, they're still ba bang and banging all day. All night. All day. Stop looking. <laughs> still banging. What about Mrs. Toilywagger? Toilet Wagger. Still needs my help cleaning her apartment. I hope I'm not too late to lend a hand. Then again, Dark F did mention I could work coat check tonight and I could use the money. Um Let me see. I'm gonna save because I don't really know which way is best. I don't know if it's that relevant, but let's see what happens when I help her because I did promise it. Who could that be? Hello, who's there? It's me, Zen. Oh, come right in. Nice place. It's pretty clean. Hey, Miss Twillywagger. I'm here to help clean up. Oh, you're a little late for that, Zen. It's alright, though. I managed to get it all done myself. So when should I f have come to clean? I'm very glad you came. You're such a good kid. Well then, I guess you don't need me then? I was just about to sit down to dinner. Would you care to join me? I was thinking of going to work coat check down at the club. I'm pretty hungry, though. Um... Hmm. I don't know, since I'm late, I think I'm just gonna go to the club. Because I need the money. I gotta go, unfortunately. No time to skim, skim, skip out on work, I'm afraid. I think I'll have to pass, unfortunately. That's quite alright, I understand. Take care, Zen. Maybe I can come back. I don't know, I might redo this part, because... Uh, with these games, I'm such a goddamn perfectionist, I can't just leave it. It's just... It's very annoying for me that I can't do everything. Now, let's uh, let's go back to the place, the cool place, and uh, in the next episode, guys. I'm gonna see if uh, which one, uh, which which way will I go? Which well, am I gonna help the old lady after all, or am I gonna go work coat check? You never know. Thanks for watching. Leave some feedback, and I'll see you in the next episode.